It is an complete course project. Please learn them in order. This is part 3 Dynamics. Okay, now we want to make our dynamic animation for our chips. So before that, see here the three chips is bigger than the bone. So I want to select this three chips in perspective and press R and scale. So you want to scale this one is smaller like this now I select my first chips and press W you want to move in above to our bowl so you want to press E and give some random rotation so select the chips too and press W you want to move like this and move exactly in upside and press E and give some random rotation I will give a little bit up so like this so I will give some random rotation over here and select this one press W and move this one like this so and move in upside and press E and give some random rotation so you want to check in top view it will be exactly place inside of this ball so don't keep like this so otherwise your uh, chips will be fall down in outside of our ball so you want to keep all the chips inside of our ball in top view so now I select this three chips over here and press ctrl D again and move in Y you want to keep in up like this so I will give little bit uh, randomness so in C I will select this one I will move so I will select this three things sorry bottom three things and press ctrl D and move in up so you want to give one two three four five six seven eight nine chips over here so now I want to rename my polyplane as ground so okay now I will select this all objects I will move a little bit in Y so when you go camera closer you cannot able to see the chips like this so now I will select my all chips and go to FX in your tab you want to choose FX here you want to go to fields and solver here you want to give create active rigid body so you want to give static friction to 0 0.3 so and choose create when you are all chips selected you want to give active rigid body and choose static friction to 0 0.3 and choose create before that you want to reduce the bounds so I want to reduce my bounds to 0 0.2 like this and choose create so in the all chip selected go to fields and choose gravity so now you want to select the bowl and go to fields and choose solver and choose passive rigid body so now go to your frame rate right click here and choose playback speed here you need to choose play every frame free when you are uh, when you have dynamic subject you want to give play every frame free so after we convert that as a keyframe we will change as real time so for now you want to give play every frame free so here you want to give 1000 frames so we want to check how many frames we need so you now give 1000 frames so and go closer over here so click this play button So now see our objects will be start animator like this it's very cool 
see here here we have some problems so the mesh will go inside so I will click stop so I will select this object so the chips line have some problem so that means go to first frame so click on this one go to start playback range so that means it will go first frame so when the chips line selected I will move little bit in Z so that means it will avoid that interaction so now I will play again see here our chips has some drops so I want to view the chips uh, one I want to click on this first frame so I will select this one and move a little bit in Y so now I want to view some uh, in X so I want to move a little bit in X so now I check again in first frame I will zoom in closer so I will play again so it will start bouncing so I want to skip that one so that means I will click stop go to first frame so now I will uh, want to select this chips 9 and click delete because I have lot of problems to this chips so otherwise you will want to adjust every time so until it gets uh, closer to our animation so go to first frame and click play so go closer see here I have lot of problems so I will stop go to first frame so when the chips 9 selected and press delete so now I got only 8 chips so go to first frame and click play okay it will be perfect so now I want to bake my animation so I will need at least 300 frames to uh, make perfect animation so now I check I wherever I want to end my animation so So I want to end up with 400 in 400 so I need at least 400 frames to see my animation perfect so that means I want to select chips 1 and shift select chips 8 in outliner and go to so you don't want to select the ground so I want to rename this as a ground so I will move this one over here using middle mouse button so I only select my chips go to first frame I want to bake my animation of my channel box over here so I will select my translate and rotate values and go to edit and choose keys and choose bake simulation option box here you want to choose so all keyable so here you need to give only translate x1 y so not give for scale so that means you want to choose from channel box and choose bake before that I want to give here you want to choose start and end values so I want to start from 1 and end up with 400 like this so that means I want to give 400 frame animation and then click bake
so now uh, my animation got baked from 400 but it will not shows the keys because we want to delete the rigid body uh, for that object so you want to select all the chips in outliner go to edit delete by type here you want to click rigid bodies now you able to see the keyframes over here so now I want to give 400 so that means you will able to see each and every keyframe in uh, time slider so I will end up with 400 so and then I want to delete my ground rigid bodies also so when the ground sorry uh, when the bowl selected go to edit delete by type and choose rigid body so select the gravity field and press delete so now you want to change the playback speed to real time right click and choose playback speed and choose real time so now hit play so now the, your animation will be so fluid so it easy to render uh, so so it's very cool so now I want to make our final lighting in next part so that's the end of our dynamics part so here you will learn a lot of things about dynamics how to uh, make active and passive rigid body and how to make our dynamic animation to keyframe animation so next we want to do our lighting click here to learn part 4 lighting